Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 23 in my Anno 1800 Let's Play. Now in the last episode, we welcomed our first artisans into Crown Falls and began to pursue the Scepter of Capon for Her Majesty the Queen. Now while we search for the Scepter, we're going to be building our population ever more as we strive to reach engineers. Now when we left our humble artisans, we had just fully satisfied the demand for sewing machines. But that means next up is going to be fur coats. And then we're going to be looking for the university. So we're going to need to reach a uh, thousand artisans, just about. Well, I don't know why I didn't just read what it actually says. 900. I guess I just rounded it up. And then we need 1,500 for the university. And we already have 600. So we're going to be growing our population by about 900 in total for the artisans there. So quite a lot, but we have the room to do it, and we've blueprinted it all out, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, but we're just going to have to make sure our industry can support it. But with our oil and our little mini factory area over here, I'm sure we'll be just fine. So the first thing that I want to do is... I'm sorry, Benty. I'll, I'll turn that off right away. I'm sorry. Okay, anyways. Uh, let's grab our flagship, the Endeavor. I'm going to rename this, actually, to... The Endurance. Let me know in the comments if you get the reference of what ship is called the Endurance. All right, let's send it out there. And, whoop, don't want to do that just yet, actually. Stop, 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 stop. I want you to grab as much construction material as you can, then go out there. So, we need fur coats. Crown Falls does not have a lick of fur on it. Can't find animals anywhere, apparently. Um, maybe Benty saved them all up on those mountain peaks. But on our neighboring island of Bayonet, there is a fur abundance. So we're going to go out here, build our fur. While we're waiting on that, we're going to also have to take in the cotton from the New World. Because, of course, we're using the costume designer in the Old World to replace cotton with wool, the sheep wool. Whereas cotton only comes from the New World. So we're going to keep using the cotton. We're going to activate the cotton industry again. In fact, I don't think I ever powered it down. So this cotton industry has been going the entire time. Sure. What do you want? We'll do that. That's a bit of fun. I'll read it as well in a moment. Anyway, I guess, yeah, we've been building cotton the whole time and I hadn't even thought of it. So what we're going to do is simply just reactivate this route. Um, so we're in the new world now. We want to go trade route. Boom. Cape Trelawney. Boom. Load. And obviously, if we get another costume designer, which would be ideal, then we won't have to do this. But uh, Or we can turn this off again, just like we did in the other one. So just a ship, shipment of 200 should be should be good. Just slap one of these on it. This one's already in Trelawney. So yeah. Okay, and we'll just call this. Um, so what is this? This is New World to Cape Trelawney. Uh, cotton. Excellent. All right. So anyway, as that comes in and gets sorted out. Then we'll have our cotton, and we should have our fur. So to get our fur, we'll just have to get building over here. Okay. Um, so I think, obviously, we have our free workforce on this island. We don't need to build any housing or markets or anything like that. No infrastructure is really needed other than the production chain itself. And if you're wondering why that is, it's because we have the influence bonus here for Unifier, right? So as we basically build up... As we put things into having more islands, if we have more commuter peers, and if we buy more shares, that's going to add up influence that's going to slowly build us up and then reach the final thing, which would be world leader, and give us 200 workforce on every island. That's not shared between all islands, that's on every island, just for free. It's kind of crazy, actually, but it's cool. So it means that here, we don't need to build any housing, we can just get straight away going with um, the fur and the production chain that we need. And these only cost 10 workers, so we could build 10 of them if we wanted to. 10 villagers, I should say. So I don't know, I'm just going to lazily kind of throw them down here. I know you can overlap these a little bit more if you want to, but I'm okay with that. Something like this. We're going to just filter these back out. And then these can just hook in. I don't know if I just said it earlier or not, because my memory is absolutely terrible, but we can just use a charter route here to take the fur out of here. So, this uh, we have to select the good first, I guess. Yes, so, from here to here. 
All right, cool. So there we go. So furs are going to come from here to there. And then the cotton's going to come in. So all we need all we need to finish this is the actual fur coats themselves. So this is going to be run by artisans, two hundo artisans, that is. Let's just whack it down here in a nice lazy fashion, because I know you love it. That's going to dump, destroy our workforce. So what we'll do is we'll go, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. It's five free house slots. We'll click our upgrade tool using you. And we'll upgrade five house, uh, five houses. We'll grab our move tool. Don't you worry about no shortages, we'll be fine. I mean, we're always going to be short on the engineers for a while, but... Not, actually, not for that long, hopefully. Okay, so that gives us now a total of 703. Obviously, they're going to grow slightly. Uh, they should grow to about 26. Okay, well, we need a lot more then, basically. And then while we're waiting to grow, we have to do our dives. Actually, speaking of dives, let's get our diving bell out there. So this is what's on it at the moment. That's fine. Let's go here first. All right. The diving bell is on the way. And that is for the quest, the Eve of War. So find an... Well, actually, just hang on one sec. We're going to go to the New World. I just want to see what Benty wanted. I'll queue up this stuff and then we'll get the hell out of here. So deliver to the wreckage of Benty's expedition ship. 27 timber. 18 fried plantains, 14 tons of rum. Benty is worried that she hasn't heard from her New World expedition in weeks. She wants you to find out what happened to them and revive the expedition with vital supplies. Perhaps you can also figure out what happened. Hmm. They might have been hit by pirates or something. So, those are a bunch of items that I bought, I think, during the last time lapse. We're going to have to go through them. Some of them are pretty good. So what did she want? 27 tons of timber. So construction good. Okay, that's 27. Then plantains, which we really don't know that much of. Might have to grab them on the other island. And actually, I don't even know if there is another island where we get them. It might just be here. I'm going to do something that's suicidal. I'm going to turn off plantain consumption just for a sec. And then we'll grab that in a moment. And then rum, 14 tons. All right, that's five plantains, so we just need, or 15, sorry, we just need three more. There we go, perfect. That's so weird the way that it actually just happened to give us three. Uh, what a quinky dink. Let's turn that back on then. This population's gonna die, basically, but they're, they'll be fine. Oh crap, we can see, oh yeah, there's like a, oh, that's so cool. Well, I was gonna say, it looks like it's stuck. Almost. That's a whale, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a whale. I, could, I wasn't totally sure with the darkness straight away. I thought it was maybe stuck in the rubble. Is that what's going on with it? It looked like it tore, also tore the ship apart, though. I'll just head out there, then. Alright, that's kind of different. Uh, okay, so, diving bell. Boom. Don't have our little clipper with us, actually. It doesn't seem like it. Jeez. The rod of scepter. Where is the grand eagle at its top? This is but a portion of the rod. She's quite quiet. I'm just gonna turn her up really quickly. It's no great secret then. We are both looking for the holy scepter of Capon. Among other things. Hmm. Vasco Oliveira. thought it clever to split our national treasure and the scepter across three different ships. But with the scepter dismantled, the leaf evaporated. You're back? Tell me everything. Ahoy! Our heartiest thanks for your help. The last we remember, we were aboard our ship carrying the sarcophagus we found in the cave of the sun worshippers. Then everything went black. I wonder if there are any clues nearby. I bet it was the curse. Hmm. Jesus. This is a kind of a... I didn't expect that. Click on the wreckage. 
Some of the crew went out on a dive to recover our navigation equipment, but when we winched them back up, all we found were severed cables. It's the curse, I tells you. Well, I mean, I can see a massive whale. Click on the whale. <laughs> okay. The monster! This monster! That explains the dreadful, eerie noise we heard in the darkness, but it doesn't explain how we came to be wrecked here. A competitor's island is under siege. Ah, I remember it all now. As we left the sunlit reef, the whale seemed angry and lashed out with its tail. Our helmsman must have panicked, oh, I knew I could trust as that's you. when we were wrecked. But that doesn't explain what happened to the artifact, or where the missing crew of the little boat went. Sail to the confused survivors. Well, I'm here now. You got yourself an agreement. Follow them. Alright, this is kind of interesting. The fire left ruins behind. Wow, we're going really fast. Oh, it is a pirate frigate, our fastest ship. Those are the ones that should get to do those quests that I keep failing, actually. There are runes in my cities. Oh my god, explosion in Lusk. Everything's alright. I like doing this quest at night, it's kind of more mysterious. Pick up the flotsam. Man, it's so cool. The lighting from this ship is lighting my ship up. Anyway, deliver to Jorgensen's Jolly Clipper, Mummy of the Sun Worshippers. Man, I'd like to put that in a museum, actually. In the presence of a virtuoso. Special visitor waits at your harbor, a bruiser. It's all right. Okay, well, I think we're pretty much done. Let's head back to here. That said, part one of the quest, so we might find out more in future. Now, what do we have to do here? Deliver to the art restores the... Rod. Workforce shortage. There's a shortage. That's all right. All right. So let's get the next different groups of houses, and then we'll have to check our consumption rates and make sure everything's a okay. That's five more houses. Let's go with one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice even block here at the back of the uh, town hall. I know I normally say I leave a gap with the town hall, but these houses actually look really nice together. There's all these like little streets that go between them. Uh, I mean, there kind of is for all houses, but these ones just particularly look the best with that. I guess engineers and investors don't, but yeah, these ones just have a nice kind of looking side streets and things like that. So you can kind of get away with sticking it up against something. Um, but I do leave a bit of a gap for the university, at least on one side. All right. There we go. Have they got their first... Uh, no, well, we don't know if they will have their fur coats just yet. We could check the port, but it's fine. We have to have 900 before we're even going to get there. Man, we need so many houses then. There's going to be so much needed. All right, let's start growing these into workers. Let's start growing some more... Returning more workers into artisans. That's a big gap. All right, cool. And then we'll put down more farmer houses in, in place of that. And we need to pave these roads as well to help our reach. Because we're going to be a bit far from that school. So one there. And one here. Let's see. Let's start doing these ones then. This one's actually kind of off on its own. But I think I did that so that the road can cut in this way. Yeah. Alright. Rapture. Rejuvenation. He asks if I'm ready to deliver the cargo. So we'll drop off the scepter. It's and then it says to read the journal. Oh, you know what? I actually forgot to read the journal. We should do that. I hope people don't mind. Like, I I don't remember the quest, so... You know, I, I want to read it. I'm not doing it for anyone else but me. But I hope people don't mind. We just received the final versions of the next few pages of the journal. Okay. Hi. We're groping in the dark here. Bird, know where to plunge. <laughs> We're groping in the dark. That's not if quite. We find anything in this graveyard, we might as well commission the vulture. Your ship has returned from its All right, so, Sunday, 13th of October, 1805. Following the king's commands to intercept Admiral Silva's flotilla, we arrived at Cape Trelawney at 1 p.m. La Corona's entire armada is here, their flagship especially, being of imposing size and might. Such a disproportionate Workforce escort short. suggests that our informants were correct. They must be transporting the scepter of Capon that our king is seeking. 
La Corona's fleet is vast in terms of size and number, but ours is staffed with seamen both seasoned and loyal. We have a chance of winning a decisive victory against the enemy here at Trelawney, but not if we fixate on recovering the scepter, as the king is insisting. I admit talking the ta oh, sorry. I admit taking the talisman would greatly damage La Corona's national spirit, but what of our own? When a thousand or more sailors are sent to their deaths for a trinket? No, we must have no other thought than employing the very best tactics to win the day. What can I say but thank you? Since the king will no longer leave the safety of his fortress atop the cliffs, we may be able to blame the fog for not complying with his signals. There were a few other incidents today at 3 p.m. We intercepted two enemy gunboats and ran them aground between two small islands to the southeast, with cliffs like guard dogs facing one another. At 4.30 p.m. we discovered a frigate bearing the emblem of La Corona, smuggling crates of a pirate cove uh, in, the uh, in, a s the, in the spiral-shaped cluster of islands that lie due east. Lastly, so this is basically just telling us the three different points it wanted us to go to, and then we have this new page here now. So I'll just wait a moment, we'll come back to that in a sec. They want me to sail to old Nate's lighthouse as well. Let's just fix these roads real quick. Alrighty. How many are we up to now? 1096 artisans so on the island. Together. I almost clicked it. Still haven't made our first shipment. I'm guessing the cotton hasn't arrived yet. As expected. But uh, yeah, there it is there. So that's going to take a while. It's a long route. It's a bit longer than the normal route. So, we'll need multiple ships, I'm sure. Or just a bigger one. Just, uh, probably multiple eventually. Anyways. Uh, items, 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 items. Always have to remember that I need to be coming back we lack the requisite materials. and getting some items. So, iron hasn't been delivered. Trade routes? Let's see. Oh, it's almost there. It's just literally about to drop it off. Looks like that might not be just enough. 290. 10 short. 10 short. It's alright though, because Look, even though they, they've run out, we still have loads of steel. So I guess ultimately, it's not ideal, but ultimately it's not that bad. Uh, but anyways, we want items. Margaret's got a quest. I was just going to buy stuff from her. She's selling gold for 997. What are they selling it for? Two th oh yeah. Let's buy all that gold. That's way cheaper. A great pleasure that you come to me for advice. Thanks, Maggie. <laughs> trade shows and we have the 10% off trade prices, which I assume works with her, not just the NPCs. Uh, so yeah, let's just drop this back off at this island. Workforce shortage. And send that up here. Right, so, items. You want to see if Eli has anything for us. What do you got? Slaughterhouse, productivity 40%. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? What's her name? Chantel, the charcutier? I, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Withstood an attack. We also are looking for anything that's going to give us a boost to range of town hall stuff. Or like other service buildings. Attractiveness 20% of travel age. I actually think we have one of them already, but let's get her anyway. Do I condemn you now, or merely give you a comedian? A maintenance cost of variety theaters reduced. That's fine. Yourself. Let's try again. So, uh, Master Craftsman Morris. All carpentry works and window makers have a reduced maintenance and occasionally produce pearls. I don't know. That's so specific. I don't know if I care. Right, it's just hey, that's what I'm looking for. Costume designer, no more um, no more cotton is even needed Size with her. Rigging. Let's go to Crown Falls. On our way. All right, a little bit of item busy work there, but important nonetheless. Uh, at least we're going to get our first batch of fur, and then all we have to do is focus on building these and supplying them with a bunch of silos. Uh, so we'll have loads of wool, and that'll be totally fine. But it means that we definitely need to have a new trade union set up where this is covered. So there's a bit of work involved in it. Um, and you know what? If we have a trade union dedicated to it, and we do build it up, I might then turn off the one that we have. I don't know. 
getting ahead of myself, but I might turn off the one in Lusk. A very astute commenter mentioned, uh, unfortunately I can't remember his name, but he mentioned that why don't I just do all of the fur production here, right? Uh, you can use costume designer, she changes it so that it's not artisans you need, it's workers. Uh, and then also that you don't need the uh, cotton, you can use wool instead. The thing is, I don't really have enough workers here to substitute the workforce. I could keep building this place up. So I've still chosen to do it where I take the fur from here and bring it to Lusk. I still think that's just working out a little bit better. Um, I just want to double check on that, that I have that right. Because saying that out loud sounded a bit wrong to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is substitute workforce and replaced input. No, that's, that's correct. I just thought maybe there was two items involved in that. But no, it is just the one. Alright, anyways. So, next part of the quest is to sail to Old Nate's lighthouse. But we need to read the next part of the book. Or I would like to, at least. <laughs> I don't know if we need to keep the thing or not. We'll just, I guess we'll just keep it on the boat for now. Alright, so. Let's read the book. So this is the latest entry, the 15th of October, 1805. La Corona opened fire this morning. We engaged in battle at 10 a.m. southeast of the region, a conflict which lasted until 7 in the evening. We lost many good men today, the sly young Admiral Silva having deployed mines to protect the enemy convoy. It was the King's command that we attack in a single line, parallel to the enemy formation. Fortunately, I was able to persuade the fleet to ignore this instruction and instead arrange themselves in two perpendicular columns to cut through the enemy line. And as a... Corollary, avoid the mines. Our lead, I was going to say lead ships. Our lead ships were blown apart, but it left a path clear for the rest of us. The enemy fleet being snipped, uh, being sniped, snipped into thirds, were vulnerable to broadsides. We proceeded to drive them toward their own mines, and though in the mayhem there were casualties on both sides, we knew victory for the Empire had been won. We thank those brave sailors who lost their lives today that we ourselves survived. And she'll never forget their sacrifice. The price would have been far greater had we sworn blind obedience to the king's strategy. It'll doubtless anger him to hear his orders were defied, but I stand by my decision. It may even please him to hear that I've been wounded for my arrogance. It's likely my dress and decorations made me conspicuous target and I took a shot of a musket to, the, to my side. My arm still has function and my head is not as half... Uh, not half as foggy as the doctor thinks it to be, so I'll continue my command until our, pro uh, until our operation has concluded. La Corona may have suffered a defeat of magnitude today, but their flagship, the Gargantuan Santissima, Victoria, managed to escape unscathed. That's pretty cool. Alright, we're just almost at Nate's lighthouse. Can put something together for you, but Oli Vyra dropped by a while ago asking for the same oh, thing, yes. and I'm all out of rubbish. So he wants five steel and five tons of quartz sand. Alright. Wish I knew that before I went down there. Uh, I don't even know if I have that. No, I do. Okay, cool. All right, let's keep beefing these guys up. I'm sure beer or something like that's probably starting to get a little weak now. Let's just do up the roads. Looks like we're just a little bit out of that range of the school, like I thought we might be. I mean, a school here would work, but I don't know. I, I, I just really want to get it where we get those items instead that can divide things up. I think it'd be nicer. In one of your factories. Uh, Lusk is just blowing up constantly due to high productivity. What are you talking about high productivity? Oh, just maybe because it's powered on and stuff. At least we have all the um, fire stations here. Can't mobilize extra ones because there's no population. That's fine. We'll come back to that when we can. Not everything of what else do you have? Chantal again. Gordon, the master grocer. Happiness provides needs. Residents are provided with beer. I am the instrument to bear out his judgment. Yeah, I'll take Gordon. Uh, what else we got? Also, speaking of, do we have a quest for Margaret yet? Oh, we didn't take it on yet. Okay. Uh, 
Curtin Town Hall provides bonus income, bonus happiness from a bank. The fire has been vanquished. I don't think I need her. Productivity, 40%. Oh, we already got her, didn't we? Yeah, that's fine. Framework knitters, maintenance costs, light bulb factory. Affects the bank. Maintenance costs is reduced 100%. Attractiveness is increased. Eduardo, the expert broker. And the lineman. Affects scholar residents. Max residents 15%. Well, we'll get him and him just because in future we'll probably use that. But for now, we probably won't. Let's just move that shit back now. Okay. Our construction material is building back up here again. We should be getting deliveries of windows. I don't know why that's not working. Huh, you didn't pick up any. Why not? Always harder with someone at your shoulder. We are making windows, but they're not powered. I guess we should um, make sure that they're powered. Make them twice as fast. I'll just check glass as well, just to make sure it's okay. Yeah, glass is fine. What about uh, wood? Perfect. Okay. Yeah, so anyway, I've got a route uh, changing, moving these all around. Or it should be, anyway. Gorgon. That looks like a hell of a messy route. I don't know where they're going. So let's see. Swords, it's picking up wood and bricks. Dropping off steel beams and windows. That makes it work a little bit nicer. Um, well, the windows should be ready to be full everywhere else. So yeah, this should work out. Okay, cool. Back to Cape Trelawney. Right, we keep continuing our little project here of uh, increasing our artisans. So they should have fur now. No, still not. Just going to double check where that cotton is. The cotton seems to have arrived at the very least. Uh, let's see, is our fur dealer operational yet? Not quite. So then, last known whereabouts would be here. There they are. Got a long distance to go, but man, this is going to be great cutting all this out with the costume designer again. It's a very powerful item. Alright, anyways, that's all good. So we know that that population is going to grow. Going to grow. So let's just, one, two, three, four. Let's get rid of those. And five, six. God. He's happy about my ongoing trade relationship. Alright, nice. So what are we up to now? We have 1,200 artisans, so we're not that far away from reaching the university as well. We're only a couple hundred off. And when they get their fur coats, they're going to grow a little bit extra as well. They're going to grow by two in each household. So there'll be 30 times however many houses we have. I don't know if there's a way to check how many houses you have. You've got population. Oh, there we go. 49. 49 times 30. Uh, let me just open up a calculator. I'll do it real quick. Your ship has 49. returned from its voyage. Times 30. 1470. So we need one more house. You give us a voice. All right, that should be everything we need to get to engineers. Once they just get their last little bits of uh, fur coats. Okay, and we'll just upgrade the final amount of workers here. Actually, we'll do it a bit further down here. There we go. Great. All right. So what's next is to pick up the steel and the sand. Let's drop that off. We really should build a museum as well when we got some time. Where's that diving bell? No. Yeah. I want to just drop off some of this stuff. Maybe we'll build, um... We'll give them a huge alcohol crate. Affects residences. Plus five. Reduced chance of riots are down. I mean, I don't think we're going to have any here. Yeah, 
that's not really any need to do it. If I have to increase the work worker production rates or something, maybe then I'll activate it. Because then we might actually need to. Okay, so we need to grab five sand. I guess this is kind of like teaching you how to use Nate's transmute stuff. All right, we'll just send them back down. And I feel like it's always nighttime or something. All right, cool. And everything else seems fine. Now, I'm guessing with all of these houses, like I said, things like beer might be starting to get affected. So I'll just double check. Beer's okay. Canned food's okay. Sewing machines is fine. Rum is going to be... We don't have actually... I haven't even looked at the happiness tab thinking about it. Is a life half so they got no rum. They ain't got no rum. Yeah. That's a lot of work. <laughs> rum. We could just try to keep them happy in other ways. They do have their beer, their church, and their variety theater, so they're happy there. But rum would require really increasing the production in the new world, which is why we had, like I said, I was getting some of those items. But we still don't quite have the items I'd like to have to really get going with that. We are running low on everything, as, as usual. usual. I did say, though, we could buy rum from the other NPCs. Or the, uh, not NPCs, the um, AI. That could work out. Rum and rum distillery maintenance costs down. Let's just get them anyways cheap. Sugarcane plantation. 15% productivity. Extra goods. Occasionally produces coca. Jean is reckless, like my brother was. I don't blame him. He is only trying to survive, to protect the ones he loves. Mm. All right, to get all these, let's head back. I wonder, do the pirates have like items that you can't get anywhere else? I know I should be going on expeditions as well. We should probably queue up some ships to do that soon. There's just always so much to do. Always so much to do. Never enough time to do it. So, let's have a look at some of the items we have in the new world here for our rum distillery. Or, sorry, our sugarcane plantations. I don't actually have the distilleries covered by a trade union. That would need another one out here, basically, to do that. So this is really just for the actual plantation. So we have the one that gives us the fertility, which is what we desperately needed. Affects all production buildings. So yeah, this guy seems like a beast. Ferris al-Sarami, the persuader. Ferris's voice puts people into a comforting trance. Letting them lend, lead a happier, more focused, and productive life. Um, affects sugarcane plantation productivity 12%. So she basically cancels that one out, which is good. And then it's coffee and stuff like that. All right. Stand aside, boss. Oh yeah, we can activate bright harvest. I mentioned that before. Of course, there's so many different things to do. God damn. <laughs> now we're short on population. To go. Is it just the plantains that were a little a little dicey? It's four tons per minute, but we are short just by a little bit. Okay. I guess some of the extra houses I put down wasn't enough. So we've got two of these and two of these and two of these. Well, ultimately we need another one, don't we? So let's get one out here. That's wood, is it? God damn. There's really not much room for anything. Uh, let's just pop it here. Yeah, so we need, we need bright harvest out here. Badly. Badly. It must be tough without that DLC. I, it's been a long time since I haven't had it. But god damn. Uh, it must be difficult. I mean, I guess it's actually a fairly recent DLC. Thinking about it, my whole campaign, every the main campaign I've played, I didn't have it active. Uh, okay, so that's visual, and then the last one is just another plantain kitchen. That should fix them, although they obviously need way more housing because of all that. So let's get them extra housing.
workforce shortage. So yeah, that should, well, I think when the population climbs back up, that should fix things. There should be 510 of them, and there's only 371. So they are quite low, actually, really, considering if you just ran out of plantains. But yeah, that should fix it. I think the poncho stuff should be fine. All right, cool. Let's hop back. So Crown Falls is almost done. We have our ship that's heading down to Nate. There it is. Uh, so we'll just get a bit closer to his lighthouse. Deliver to his lighthouse. Sand and steel. Hold the crane. How do I... I'm here. Let's just get this... This ship is freaking me out. Let's move that one for a second. Do I also need to have the scepter and stuff? Let's just move away and come back. So go there and then go right here. Five steel and five sand. Let me just double check. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. I brought steel beams. Brought steel beams. I'm so sorry. All right, let's just rush back with this thing. Just throw that scrap overboard. It's useless. Actually, you know what? Just stay where you are. We'll grab one of the other ships that's up here. Sorry, my bad. My bad. It is steel. It's just the wrong kind. Steel beams. I got the kind that jet fuel can't melt. All right, cool. And we'll head back down. All right, sorry about that. All right, definitely by now we've got that um, fur going, right? 1398. Oh, you know what? We do have the right amount of houses, but you need more to even just get the benefit, right, from the university. So we need even a few more. God damn. So what do we got now? 1398. So we need 100 more. So we need four houses, basically. <clears throat> Let's build these four here. One, two, three, four. All right, there's our four. All right, cool. So, uh, I just built that. There's supposed to be a little offset. Allows me to have nice ornaments, of course, when we get to it. So that should be it. Is that... Once they grow a little bit, I think, hopefully those four houses, please. Yeah, they're gonna grow to 28. More than bones. Now, this is arguably my greatest I... Um... Well, invisible hands reaching through the air. Thanks for the echo locator, but I kind of already have one. But okay. Proceed with your goobling, or however you call it. Goobling? What kind of items do you have, man? I got money to burn. Oh shit, look at this. We got multiple, um,. High value things. Oops. Actually, we'll take that as well. A heat exchanger. Gives us uh, extra hit points. Damage slowdown is reduced. I actually thought it was going to give me a bit of speed as well, but no. Our ship was destroyed. Whoa, what? What? The crane. Oh, I must have went over a mine. Oh, no, that was a pirate frigate. Oh, yeah, there they are. Oh, I should really have been paying attention. <laughs> that might be the first ship I've lost. I'm 31 hours in. I think that might be. If not, it's, it's, if not, it's a very long time since we lost one. Looks like it did our diving bell a hell of a lot of damage as well. Are we searching or not? I don't see it. It was supposed to be... Right. Let's just take this one off and put the one they want me to use on. Activate that. 
Oh, maybe that's will give me a clue. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There it is. I probably just I I probably just missed it. It is weird how they're placing mines to protect themselves and they just destroy me. They could easily just destroy me, like. You must know. The last thing I want is a repeat of the Battle of Trelawney. Hmm. If we both delve into the ACOG for that very special needle, there's more chance at least one of us ready to Nandaski's legacy sailed to the small trading post. Full of gladness, I make my best work. Arsa wants to give me something. So, you're playing best of three. I hope you realize the seriousness of such a game. It's at least you had better win. At least it's complete. After many days and nights of meticulous work, Nodaski's journal can be read in full for the first time. Here are the last pages with the conclusion of his account of the Battle of Trelawney, a first hand testimony of the Empire's history. Did he just throw it in the water? New orders? <laughs> uh, yeah, drop you off, drop you off, drop you off. <laughs> yeah, I did. Should I just throw it in the water? <laughs> Finally got it, you know, translated and prepared. An Good thing you caught me. We're about to take tea. All right, I'll read it in a second. Hang on. What Nadaski writes up here? The heroes that tilted the battle in our favor were stranded. They never returned, but we may still learn what became of them. Okay. Anyways, we have the costume designer now, so I'm gonna build- look at our influence now. We've gone over 16,000. Our money's getting way better. Everything's good. Um, let's just pop this down, I don't know, somewhere here for now. It's a temporary building. I'm just gonna throw in the costume designer. The finishing touches and there. So this is now gonna take workers instead of artisans, which is actually kind of annoying, but obviously I want it for the wool. Uh, using wool instead of uh, cotton. So we'll just delete that root. That root's fine. What else do we have here? Affects slaughterhouses. Yeah, we could maybe combine them. The fact that we have slaughterhouses. Slaughterhouses productivity 40% and occasionally produces extra tallow. People said that in the comments as well to get the item that gives you more tallow. Apparently it gives you quite a lot of tallow. The person that mentioned it said they didn't need any tallow buildings at all. Which I find hard to comprehend. Being able to, an item that occasionally produces something, giving you enough that you don't even need the building. Fair enough. Um, Alright, so that's all well and good. We need to just increase our workers again real quick. Alright, that should be enough for now. <clears throat> uh, so, I'll read that chapter and we'll follow the, follow the mystery. Uh, I just was thinking, do we have enough wool? That's the last thing I wanted to check on. We do not, but we can if we just add on the old uh, silo. Ah, oh, fuck's sake! <laughs> God damn. Okay, so they have their modules, they have their silos. Uh, we need to do the same for this one. A farm. Come on. <laughs> uh, there we go. Alright, good. Done. Now what's the wool like? There we go, 15. Brilliant. And uh, let's just check the grain. I'm sure it's fine, but let's just check it just in case. 16, yes. 16 to eight. Double what we need. Um, are these guys all chuffed now? Yes, they are. Slightly low on that school though, so it means that population wise we're just on the edge of where we need to be. We're 20. Oh no, wrong one. We are too short. Two people just can't quite get to school. <laughs> um, or rather, I guess about 40 people can't get to school and therefore 
procreate. I don't know. <laughs> make room in their house. I actually checked what was on this island. Grapes. Anyways, I'm getting a little distracted. Let's read that book. Can I read his agreement? In respect of our promise, in the best interest of both our nations, I, Vasco Oliveira Silva, servant of His Majesty King Jiao of Coroa, agree to surrender the piece of the scepter capon currently in my custody, namely the pommel of the scepter, in the event of my failing to discover the final piece of the scepter, the eagle, first, so long as the counterparty agrees to do the same and the opposite. All right, so it's like whoever finds the next bit has to give over the rest of it. Interesting. Just took that away. Let's take this off now. We don't need that. And, uh, there's the book. So, the king is indeed mad. He appears to care nothing for our victory and was upset in the extreme to learn that we hadn't yet begun to pursue the Santissima Victoria, for he is adamant that the Scepter Capon is on board. Having received word that the flagship was heading northeast, His Majesty ordered Captain Richardson of the HMS Ajax to go after her. Under no circumstances will he permit us to accompany them. I have tried to inform the King that Ajax is ill-equipped for the duel, but my injury leaves me weak, and I have I've had to retire to my quarters. Santissima Victoria may be the largest man of war ever built. Richardson knows he leads his men to their deaths, but he always has been a man of unwavering in his sense of duty. Sorry, he, but he has always been a man unwavering in his sense of duty. Yes. It is unreasonably morbidly hot. A rowboat was... F so this is eight days later. It's unreasonably morbidly hot. A rowboat was found this morning, beached on the headland, brought in on the current, presumably for its occupants are three days dead of thirst. In a clenched hand, one, of the letter, uh, one held a letter from Richardson. These men were sent to find help, the crew of the Ajax surviving a clash with the Santa Sima Victoria, only by swimming to an island southeast of the headland. We immediately dispatched a rescue boat, but it was too late. Richardson and his crew have met the same fate. We found no trace of the Santa Sima Victoria either. His Majesty's reaction is predictable. These lives were taken by his hands, yet he weeps only for the scepter. My wounds fester and my fever worsens. The doctor says I must put down my pen. Wrecked. Now, that apparently his hints lead to that the HMS Ajax is in a certain place. Follow the hints to find his wreckage. Give me that book. Drop this off here, I don't need this. Hmm. Also, can I buy back that pirate frigate? I'd really like to get it back. As quick as that, Benty's doing deals with Anne Harlow. If you can believe. Um, Alright. Is our ship healing? It is slightly. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have to find where this thing is. Um... It was heading northeast. Okay. Yep, okay. Northeast, I guess. There's a bunch of ships out here, so I guess I'll head up this way. Bankruptcy? You having a laugh? The picture of health, renovations, boost city appeal. Exactly. Disease extraordinarily low. In fit as a fiddle lusk. Oh, lusk. Damn. <laughs> I was hoping it was in swords, where we kept having sickness. 500 engineers now. That's going to be a hell of an ordeal. I feel like we need even more workers a lot. I guess I have to decide where the villagers are going to go. Or the farmers. Hey, there's a little festival going on here. A harvest. Festival attractiveness is up. Income per household, 10%. Productivity, 50%. Maintenance cost is down. Produces extra goods, such as rum, champagne, cigars, and chocolate. Ah, oh, that might be why our money came up so much. Have they got their rum? Look at them. Guzzling away. Can't quite keep it stable, though, can you? So the money is fluctuating. I don't like seeing it change. I'm tempted to bring other ships with this, but I don't want them to just get destroyed. This is in New World and Old World. Let's just bring that back up here. All 
All right, let's look out for mines just in case. Follow Nadaski's hints to find the wreckage of the HMS Ajax. All right, we got something right here. We are fairly northeast right now, I would say. Nope, we found scrap. Another thing has appeared, but I'm gonna stay up here just in case. Oh, there it is. Target place. A competitor's island is under siege. That was easy. <laughs> so you guess this is it? Well, that wouldn't be the... Is, if that's the HMS Ajax, that's quite a small ship compared to what I guess they would have been fighting. I mean, I guess that's the point. They weren't prepared. And then it looks like they went up here and made a little camp. I have not left the palace in haste to be denied. A mere frigate against a ship of the line. Richardson's the log. My father's obsession with the scepter could have clouded his judgment so. The last piece must be down there in the mark. 2 a.m. Our patrol was uneventful. The night is calm. He sketched the Santissima Victoria in his journal before it wrecked on the coast. Oh, right, so this, the other ship did wreck. All right, so the night is calm thanks to Admiral Nadaski's exceptional strategy. The HMS Ajax and many of her sister ships have prevailed in the Battle of Trelawney. Oh, right, okay. Wow. We have new orders. The Ajax has been chosen by His Majesty himself to chase aboard the Santissima Victoria. Oh, I see, sorry. I was reading a bit far ahead. Where we are to retrieve an object of great importance. The enemy have a significant advantage, but the HMS Ajax is a logical choice. Being one of the few frigates still in good condition, I must have faith we can achieve our goal, or else my men will not. We encountered the Santa Sima Victoria, um, southeast of the mainland. She opened fire on sight. I commanded the Ajax to retaliate. We disabled her rudder and saw the enemy flagship wreck against the east coast of the mainland pulled in by a strong current. The scepter has gone with her, and we too are filling the filling with water. HMS Ajax has sunk. One rowboat, myself and the rest, are swimming for shore. Desolate island, no fresh water, heat unbearable. Current too strong to attempt a crossing. Sending rowboat to get help. No word from the robot. We will... Ro rowboat. We will die here. All hope is lost. Our king has forsaken us. That is quite the tragedy. And they thought about sailing, swimming out that way. There it is. That's more like it, a massive ship of the line. It'd be so cool if you could restore it and have unique colors. Because it looks like the La Corona ships. That kind of uh, green... Let's see, I saw one earlier. I don't know what I'm thinking of, but I'm so sure I saw a ship that was like a ship of the line, but it was green and red. But maybe the one I'm looking at is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, I don't see them anywhere else, so... I don't know. Oh, maybe this is it? Yeah, this is it. There we go. Green and red. That's cool. Well, we're here now. New orders. There is no mistake. This was once La Corona's great flagship. The eagle must be here. Okay. Dive at the location. The yes. oh, nice, we got it. Beaten, must do it. Same here. Honestly, I thought maybe we'd have to fight him for it. You know, now that I see it. It really doesn't look much like an eagle, does it? Oh well, none of my subjects will ever dare to question it. Bring her around. Ah, so that is his, like, flagship. We have to sail to it now. Vashko promised to yield the pommel. He promised. Mmm, he did promise. I'm tempted to bring with me, uh... A warship, just in case. Dealing with you could be a lottery. Any other items for us, old Nate? You old bastard. Increase the chance of finding machines. Sure. Oh, 
that has to go into the diving bell, I guess. Every time we dive, we have to swap those out and decide which one we want to look for. It's good to have it, though. It was it was 950,000, by the way. I just bought it as if it was nothing. It was quite a lot, in fairness. Does this work on this ship? This is a steamship as well, isn't it? Kind of? I guess not. Alright, so we've already arrived there. It was a bit quick, but we are here. Ah, oh, keep the wretched bird. Uh, this is the second time my family have been humiliated here. Cursed place. I must return to face my fate at the hands of King Zhuao. Zhuao. of your pity, thank you. It has been a long time coming. Get wrecked, son. <laughs> Mr. Oliveira was truly a man of his What's going on in the back of our ship? Had it been me, I'd never have let him have our piece of the scepter. Mm-hmm. All right, let's sail back. We have all the pieces. He offers to restore it. Well, I have to deliver it to the art restorers first. So that Blee may lay his oily digits on it. I see. <laughs> Attention for the plenty of scholars versed in the art of restoration already. All right, we have our extra treasure maps as well, because we're going to activate them and do some dives, get some better items hopefully soon. Wow, money's almost positive. Can't believe it. Speaking of money, uh, whatever happened to <laughs> our st uh, steamer extravaganza? I have no idea where that ship is right now. There it is. What's it loaded with? Gold. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's as much as we can drop. That's kind of in interesting. Uh, I, uh, We could build a bit more storage. Just so we can drop the rest, free up the ship. We should have a lot of pocket watches back in swords now, because they don't consume as much as we make, and we've just been, for hours, you know, storing them up, I guess. There are 350 light bulbs. They need to be sold. 262 pocket watches. Yeah, we should come up here and just take all of those and sell them. Uh, but soon we can maybe, you know, send those kind of things over to Cape Trelawney as well. To help it out. Oh, I don't want to just sit here with this ship with a bunch of gold on it. A competitor's island withstood an attack. Residents provided with beer. I'm trying to think where that would be best used... Both well, our islands for beer are actually totally fine. Hmm, not sure. I think I'll just, I will just have to wait for the clock to run down and then I can drop off this. Or, I guess I would just build more storage. It's, it's really cheap to maintain, so let's just get more. Alright. So, we've gotten rid of that. I just want to check. Um, Everything in its right, you do see. you have anything that we could buy, that we could sell? Not really. I mean, the penny farthings we could probably make a million on if we sold, if we bought them. So let's just head out here real quick. Let's just see what she's got on other islands. Brass. Nah. What about Benty? Nope. What about Arthur? Arthur is selling dynamite and penny farthings. And sewing machines and... There's so much stuff. You could buy fur coats and just ship them to Madame Kahina here. Make a bunch doing that also. Whoops, sorry. Hit the microphone. So we did spend a lot of money. I spent like four or five million just buying items and stuff. I'll have to go through them in between episodes and really see like, okay, where can we move these things down? We've increased our influence a lot, which is great. Our population has climbed by 2,000 over the last two episodes. A canopy of stars, each an so we've handed in our items. The scepter of Capon has almost been returned to its former splendor. There are just two final details missing. The inlay pearl it once had and the delicate filigree I have seen in the paintings. He suggests diving spots where we can find this stuff. That's okay. It. Give me some peace. Provide him with six gold and three tons of pearls. Ugh. Well, he's given us a diving location somewhere over here. In the oh, actually, before we go off. Stop. Alright, we can move now. 
So pearls and gold. I'm actually not making that anywhere, but maybe we could buy it from Madame Kahina, I think. Yes, good, excellent. So let's do that. Well, now we need gold and we don't have it on the ship anymore. How... Is that ironic? Not really. Well, kind of. How unfortunate is really what I want to say. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just get a regular clipper to do this. Because this needs to go to the Cape Trelawney anyway. So pearls and gold. We'll just stop off here, purchase, get some of those pearls, go down to the pirates and then get the gold and then cut across. And we should be fairly quick. It's a small amount that we're going to be loaded up with. This, I'm just going to buy the penny farthings. 188,000. I think we get like 900,000 back for selling that. So it's pretty good. Worth doing. I'm just going to check Tabarine, make sure we haven't left the ship here. No, we haven't. It's good. And she's happy about all that as well. So it helps. It all helps. Good. Everyone's delighted. We've got quests to do for all of these people as well. All right, let's check our diving bell. Where where to now? There we go. I'm just gonna let the sun rise naturally. I know last time I hit, um, I just clicked midday rather than dawn, but still, I just feel like we're in the dark almost all the time. <laughs> or maybe it's just you know you notice it when it's dark. But I almost feel like it lasts longer. So I guess what you could do is you could turn off the Nate Dar and put on the other guy and it's like an increased chance of finding all of these different things. If we put on the- Hey, we got some gold! That's turned out nice. Oh right, he gave me- Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I see. He's given me like locations that might have some for me. Well, we didn't get pearls, but that's okay. We can buy them really cheap. Uh, okay, we'll just temporarily, we'll just come back here. We'll pick up that other item that we had. This guy. Uh, I think it was three pearls, but just to be safe, we're just going to buy 50. Um, and bring them with us. And actually, while we're here, anything else for the zoo? Got any nice zoo items? Anything rare? I'll take any treasure map I can, to be honest. Already have a tiger, a helmet jellyfish, and a firefly squid. This is part of the abyssal depths. All right, screw the... Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just activate that. If we can do it, we can do it. If we can't, no worries. You don't always need to run. Let's extend the old telescope. And then uh, let's just buy that other creature. To the I haven't actually mentioned it at all, but we want to be getting different sets so we can get these benefits. Um, so let's just go to Cape Trelawney. Anyway, that's that done. God, what an ordeal this has been. Now, yeah, so the... For instance, in here at the zoo, you can go to animals... And then these are all the different sets. So if we were to find a swordfish, we would have the Ocean Predator set. Now, I don't actually know what any of these give us. You can't see it until you complete it. You could look it up, I guess, but um, I can't quite remember. So, And I don't really plan on looking it up. I'm just going to get what I think is interesting. Uh, so Ocean Predators, if we could get a swordfish at some point, we need to look out for that. Other than that, we're pretty empty on everything else. Uh, we could go Eastern jung Jungle, Great Coral Reef, anything like that. We've actually got too many. Great white, great white sharks. Uh, but yeah, it'd be cool to see what we get from that. Ocean predators, maybe it'd give us like an attack bonus or something. I don't know. Defense bonus. No idea. Alligator poised. Right, so this guy, hop onto the diving belt. Looks like Burke Black. Anthony Anchovy, salvager of sunken sumps. Let's get rid of that. So yeah, we could turn this off. Well, I guess what you can do is just go to the area, then disable this. I suppose that's maybe part of the idea. And this will probably be the last dive we do. 
And that might be the end of the episode. I was hoping we could complete this chain, but obviously we're not going to get to engineers anyway. Dive at the specified location. This should give you the pearls, actually, I think. So what can I do in the meantime? That's the question. Uh, let's check on things just really quickly. Consumption rates, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah. It's interesting the amount of rum that we're apparently getting from the um, festival right now. But yeah, no, we're totally fine. We're, uh, we're low on sausages, actually. We have that item that gives a boost to sausages. Slaughterhouses. How many pigs do we have? Hmm. So if I was to move this, no, not that. This. Stand to attention for the boss. Over here. So with her, they're going to go up to 40%. With this, it's going to go up to 200%. That's probably going to be way too much on the actual pig farms now. Yeah, the demand has gone way above. But we can just get another pig farm. Why not? And I think when it gets its grain, that should be it. We're actually full up anyway. So yeah, this would be fine. So sausages should be fixed. Population should be good to go. Getting a little bit closer. Um, Alright, so yeah, engineers. So I was thinking for the engineers to build them out down around here. But I'm just kind of wondering now if that's enough. I mean, this is pretty big. It's deceptively big, I would say. And hopefully one day we can move that clay pit. But, um... Yeah, that was my that was my thinking. And then I was going to have just like on the outskirts of the town, like all along this river, just have villagers or have farmers. Makes sense to me. All the only thing is that I would have to feed in a railway line for power. Or we could say, actually, we're only ever going to power them with gas from the Arctic. And I have, pl I have big plans for how we're going to do the Arctic and Enbesa. It's going to be great. Uh, I'll reveal that in a few more episodes. But I've got a good idea. At least I think a decent idea of how to approach it. Anyways, um, hmm. It's either that or the engineers don't go on these islands. But I think that I, that's kind of what I want this whole place to look like. And I want to build a promenade up the center as well. So yeah, I think temporarily maybe at first the railway line that comes across here will just siphon straight down. Hit a power line or a power... Uh, What's it called? Oil power plant? <laughs> That's the word. Uh, an oil power plant here. And then that should light up this whole area, I think. So yeah, that's probably what will have to happen. Might look actually kind of cool coming straight down, but it'll be disruptive to the artisans if they live up here. I'll have to connect up some of these roads as well. Get a bit of a main highway going. That's not going to connect, actually. We're going to do this one. There we go. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this is turning out. And then we'll have to do, once we get more and more houses built, then we'll do that makeover where we go through with the ornaments. Oh, look at this. They're actually coming across the bridge. That looks awesome. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. I wish I had the houses in the background because that's like thumbnail material right there. Actually, I'm just going to save it here in case I get to make one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I've never seen that before where they come across a bridge. That's cool. Alright, um, you know what? While I'm messing about and waiting here for different things to happen, let's get that museum going. Why the hell not? Let's just throw- they're all temporary anyway. <laughs> As I've been saying a million times over. But just get a museum down. We've got what we need to build it. Just throw down- I, how many modules do we have? Ten or something, I think, for free. We have a free zoo module, and then we've got ten for the exhibits here. So let's just be economical with this one, because I know I'm going to redo it. And just get ten of these down. Oh my god. There we go.
All right, let's just try that out. Let's see what we got. So we have the Temple of Poseidon, which actually looks really cool. Uh, we have the Temple of Enesiadon. I don't know how to say it. That looks awesome. I wish you could put these in, just like in the center of your town or something. It's these monuments. Sanctuary of Hellebron. Hellebore, sorry. The Art of Medicine. Attractiveness. An Aureus coin. So these are just going to be like the standard kind of looking buildings, I think. Stone statue. Copper ring. And uh, another ring. All right. I'll just hook it up like that. So that is a big boon to attractiveness, which means on this, we're going to see that number ticking up. And obviously there's a festival going on right now as well. So we currently have 1,344, and that's giving us about five grand. With another 244, I don't know, nearly six, maybe? So that'll actually make us positive for a while, at least while the um, event is on. Right, I'm guessing that this is going to give me the pearls that we need. I love how old Nate's like, yeah, I know where pearls are. I know where gold is just sitting there. That he doesn't even care about. All right, this will be the last thing we do. We're just going to bring it back, talk to the queen, and uh, we'll be wrapping it up. And then the next episode, we're going to work our hardest to get into engineers, 500 engineers. So it's like doing this exact episode all over again, but for a different class. And then we'll be almost done with sunken treasures. Almost. Obviously, we'll always be building here, but in terms of its uh, quest line, I think we're, we'll be almost done. I really love the look of this place. I haven't looked at swords in a while. Let's check it out. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Swords does look good too, I think. Oh yeah, they're having a festival as well. They're living life. It's still going on. Oh, it's a new one. It's another beer festival. They had one not too long ago. Oh, maybe it's, maybe it was an hour long, actually. No, it couldn't have been. It must be a new one, because this episode's over an hour long. <laughs> nice. Festival's all around. A little carousing in order. Will you work your magic for this? What we I just became so a precious little girl's see. papa. We need something fancier to toast just this once for my baby. You could get us some champagne, right? I absolutely can. Because there's a festival going on right now. And we've got plenty. We should do. Yeah, yeah. 143 tons of champagne are just sitting there waiting for investors one day. Gave us a wrought ironsmith. We already have like three. But I appreciate it nonetheless. Yeah, we've got so many items. I really have to consolidate our items. Now, the nice thing is you can check in the statistics screen about the items. And just see where you need to move them. Just gonna sell this up at uh, Eli's. 150 light bulbs. All right. Monitor ready and lurking. Old world. Let's activate all of the things that are for the old world need to be activated. This is all of the red ones, right? This kindness. Can I just hang on? Activate. Activate. <laughs> and then we're going to be treasure hunting like crazy in the old world. Alright, cool. There we go. Right, we've dropped off the pearls and the gold. Sail to the art restorers while well, we're here now. I need to get the diving bell to go to the old world though. I love that I just keep saying it because uh, I've just <laughs> activated like so many of them. You wield the torch of hope. Hey, our other pearls got here as well, just in time. My gratitude. There we go. We have it. The scepter of Cape Bon. Of Equipped in a museum. Perfect timing. Rally. Perfect timing. Let's get rid of one of these little rings. Where did you? Wait a sec. Where did you put it? Where is it? Where's the scepter? Maybe it's just in storage. Rod of the scepter of Capon. No, that's just the rod. 
How do we still have the rod? Surely it's been built into the... Oh, I'm confused. I must have... Have I lost? Oh, there it is. For some reason, it's on this. We still have the rod, like the base, which is strange, but okay. Alrighty. Let's toss that out. Let's get that in. People will come from far and wide to behold the oh, and it's like a gold top to it. That's kind of cool. I guess it is just a scepter, after all, so... Hard to make it really stand out. An exhibition to show off the reclaimed scepter of Cape On. An heirloom said to run in the blood of Her Majesty and epitomize the triumph over La Corona at Trelawney. Opened its grand doors earlier today. The queuing was endless. For not only were there denizens of Trelawney in attendance, but curious and patriotic visitors from all corners of the Empire. My dreams, one's youthful imaginings of this place of time. So dutifully have you made home. In particular, I'm I'll be blown away if we could see it. <laughs> no, I didn't think so. Oh, I didn't expect that. We are loving it in here. I always believed my father when he claimed to be the unsung mastermind at the Battle of Trelawney. But it was Nadaski all along that was saving his blushes. Yeah, we poor Nadaski. Died on that island. Which island was it? Is this one out here? It awards you some of Admiral Nadaski's military regalia. Okay. I may have been wrong about Admiral Nadaski. Holy crap! Upon my return to the capital, I shall have a great big pillar built in his honor. Hogarth the Harbour Master, veteran of Trelawney. Damn. I didn't know you were getting extra items. That's awesome. Escort her from Cape Trelawney. I will. She still wants me to make it a capital city. Attention for the Admiral. Oh yeah, there we go. Attractive is 40. Attractive is 40. Oh nice, this is awesome. Loading speed 100%, harbor activity 30%. Damn. And do we have a harbor master office? We do, actually. Increased attractiveness. And yeah, let's toss that out here. So she's ready to go. Let's escort her with our flagship. And let's escort her with our own... Um, what's basically our newest kind of flagship. Our own royal ship. Man, this has been an awesome episode. I mean, I loved it. This whole, like... I'm so glad that we finally got... Oh, we're doing a lap of victory. Escort out of the region's waters, the HMS Lap of Victory. Oh, that's actually the name of the ship, I see. Cool. We'll send her on her way. Uh, yeah, so those other two items we can stick in here as well. So let's just replace these copper rings. We'll get the Admiral Nadaski's Saber. And we'll get the Nadaski's Medal. And there we go. Attractiveness 370. That's awesome. I don't know if we get to see those unique artifacts. Maybe they're the Battle of Trelawney. The Imperial Figurehead. Hmm. A remarkable figurehead belonging to a resplendent Imperial ship that fought in the Battle of Trelawney. I wonder how we get that. Be strong in business and become a pillar of our nation. And then we get the Battle of Trelawney bonus. One headline dominates the front pages. Warden of Trelawney. After a great service to both a city and a nation, Hans von Schlong has, has been officially appointed point. Warden of Trelawney and Governor of the Crown Falls at a grand ceremony conducted by Her Majesty the Queen, Empress Royal of the Southern Territories. Alright, we have a lot of maps to, to look for. Oh, maybe we just have to find it. Oh, and all the hostile ships are gone as well. Sweet, we've done it. We completed it, basically. But yeah, I want to complete that set. Um, I'm sure people will probably let me know in the comments, but I'm, I'm guessing you just die for it. Maybe you'll find it one day, I hope. I hope it isn't, I didn't miss it or something. That would suck. Um, but we do still have quests here to reach the city status of capital. So that's still something on the cards. Maybe we'll get something for doing that. All right, that is going to be it for this episode. This was a lot of fun. I had a really, really good time playing it. I hope people enjoyed it. I know it's a long episode, but uh, 
had to complete the story. All right, thank you guys again very much for all the support, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the Join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.